Hello guys, welcome back to our channel once again. I'm Emily Edwin and I'm Dennis Keton and today we are the gatekeepers. Guys, welcome back. We are heading to game week 26, right? Double game week. Double game week. So uh, game week 26, um, after, of course, game week 25, you saw the miracles that happened, but uh, Man City will always remain Man City. Liverpool are trying, but at uh, this point, guys, I want uh I won't tell you, okay, I won't promise you anything, but this time around, I think Man City will be able to defend. That is the first prediction I'm giving before we start. Anyway. So, Southampton against Everton. Southampton, uh, these people, I'll say they are good. They are redeemed to themselves. We saw that they dominated very well against Manchester United. You know, we'll have to use Manchester United as an example because they do so. When they win cups, they compare themselves to us. When City does anything, Liverpool does anything, they compare themselves to Manchester United. So let me, um, so the, Southampton dominated very well against Manchester United. Um, I can say they're fond of, um, they're fond of humiliating clubs as big as Manchester, Everton, Tottenham, Chelsea. So they're meeting Everton. Who is the new coach of Everton? Everton and all these super fun club. You've said it. Now, guys, we have uh, uh, Donny van der Beek and we have Dele Ali. So this is going to be a big match. But let me let me not say more. Two one in favor of Everton. Not to forget Calvert Lewin, Richarlison, uh, Coleman, uh, and the entire Everton team. A very superb squad. So when you look at that, this match this is not going to be an easy match. So that from being at home, uh, Saint Saint James Park, right? Yes. They will be wanting to boss around and they have something to play for us. Now that Che Adams or Che Adams is on his form and uh, they want to redeem themselves also. So this is a match which I'm seeing a 2-2 draw, even though I feel that for example, he will, be, he will want to pull a consistent win, like to get his second win in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing a 2-2 win draw, but from afar, Everton might win by three goals to two. Three goals to two. So this one is going to be over 2.5 to the to the wealthy investors. Ah, to the people who look forward to investing in the Mozart or whatever the, the whatever platform. So the biggest game of Saturday would be, of course, Manchester City again. Okay, the unstoppable Manchester City against Tottenham. And just to tell you guys, right now City are unstoppable until when they meet United. I said we are comparing all these teams to Manchester United because when you are great, everyone compares themselves to you. Then it's taken away. I previously told Manchester United fans to stop calling themselves great. They used to be great, but currently, like for the last decade, they are no longer great. But we are still great. You used to be, so it's an issue of past tense. So Same to Barcelona. Yeah, they are in the Europa League, but when you say, you pronounce the word Barcelona, People will get scared, yes. especially the other clubs, because yeah. this is a team that has uh, had a lot of success. Same to Manchester United. Yes, which we don't dispute. But you see, mm -hmm. history and legacies are there to be lived up. Mm -hmm. And clearly, Manchester United has always been a good club. The issue is, for the past decade, if you have to compare the rate of success of Manchester United, uh, you can't tell a child who was born 15 years ago, uh, who has been watching games between Chelsea, Man City, and Manchester United and you confirm to him how great Manchester United is. Because for them, what they have seen, what they have been exposed to, they have seen Man City dominating. They have seen Chelsea winning champion, Champions League and club, World Club uh, trophies. So it's tricky. You need to tell them that we used to be a great club. Then you give them statistics and data. That one they will relate. But if you tell them that we are great right now, you are confusing them. Yeah, so you need, okay, if if it is so, then you need to stop comparing yourselves to Manchester United. If you win, win. Stop winning because, okay, you want to get past Manchester United. No, no, we are, they, not, we are, remember, not, even, we are guys, not even competing with Manchester United. Dennis Ria, where are they on the table? There was, a time, there was a time he said, uh, we have uh, two Champions League. That was our second. Mm -hmm. Only one to go, to go level with Manchester United. Yeah, exactly. So we are why can why can't you compare yourself with Liverpool? Liverpool they have uh, five or six. Exactly. You compare yourself to them. Chelsea is a very realistic club, huh? so you can only compare yourself to the next opponent. You see, I can't start comparing our Champions League trophies 
with a team like Bayern or Real mm -hmm. because Real has like 13 as we just started so you need we need to take it bit by bit so we climb the ladder step by step right now we are on the second step of the ladder so we are asking ourselves who is on the third step of the ladder it's Manchester United so can we talk on them yes we can can we work towards that yes we can Liverpool they are working towards getting an extra Premier League trophy to catch who Manchester, Manchester United. United so it's a matter of looking at who is on top of you so that's usually the system yeah same to man city they are winning uh premier they okay Trent said a couple of friends they are winning a couple of trends so that they can reach manchester united you need to stop this guys sorry sorry i know we digressed but mm. let's go back to the biggest game man city versus <laughs> yeah, totally now. Yeah, guys. so uh man city the way pogba told you clearly we can't dispute uh, we are talking about current situation. It's a big team. It's a good team. Pep is doing impressive. Bernardo Silva is on form. He's doing his things. In fact, the results of the Champions League when they play which team, uh, they won by five goals to nil. Raheem Sporting scored. City. Sporting City. Raheem scored. Foden scored. Uh, Bernardo scored. Brace. So it ended five. Five. Uh, Mahrez scored. Mm -hmm. So the game ended by five goals to nil. So Man City is a formidable team. We can't dispute that. Regardless of the rotation that Pep uh, uses, it still remains to be a big team. Uh, that's not to say that uh, Tottenham is not a good team. It is definitely a good team with a new manager who came with different tactics. He, he's quoted saying that, yes, he was asked, why, why did you bring uh, young players who are not experienced? He said that I brought young players because this is the future which we see with, uh, with Lucas with uh, Tottenham. He said that if you want to win trophies, if you want to win instantly, bring experienced players. But if you want to win consistently, uh, bring young experienced players who you are going to match. And basically that's what Antonio Conte has been doing to, to, to Tottenham. Mm -hmm. Having said that, um, they lost last weekend, yes, but have they lost it? No. no. So, Son, Harry Kane and the entire team, these are people who are hurt and they need to make a comeback and they need to make a statement. So if you ask me, this game, regardless of Man City being tough, I feel like um, who deserves it more? Tottenham deserves it most because they lost and uh, Conte can't allow himself to be losing like three games on a streak. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how difficult this game is going to be, I feel like Son, Hurricane, Badrin or uh, Lucas Moura they must rise to the occasion and they must bring something on the table. So, a bold prediction of these guys, and you can take this and bank this check on my behalf. This is going to be a 2 1 win for Tottenham. Wow, fantastic. Actually, they have not lost three, they have lost four. Now we see. Mm -hmm. They have lost four. So, this one, this, this one, they won't accept to go down, but uh, with that being said, this one is going to end a 1 1 draw because. Tottenham are good defensively under this uh, content. Man City are Man City. Stalin is on form. I feel like there's going to be a red card in this match. There's going to be a penalty. Stalin with the trickery. Uh, somebody like um, Sanchez will bring him down penalty. Twice, red card. So if you are playing fantasy, don't keep any Tottenham defender here because we have Mares, we have Stalin. They are very tricky. So. Penalty looming, red card looming. Leeds against. Uh, hey. <laughs> now we are Sunday. Yeah? On Sunday now. Sunday. Now let me let me a moment of uh, of silence. <laughs> Leeds against Manchester United. Guys, Leeds are always our customers. Uh, last meeting uh, we behind them uh, five goals to one. We've been beating them six two, seven one. 5-4, oh no, 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 Five. okay, 1-1-1, one, one, one. okay, in this match, I'm very much sure, there's, there's never been a clean sheet, actually, the only clean sheet that came was 0-0, zero, zero, which was last season, the second leg, after we thrust them 6-1, so Dennis, what's your take, will you give it to you this time around, since now, uh -huh. I don't know why, Manchester United are not yet convinced me up to now, yes, they're playing well, but they're not scoring so um, they have not yet convinced me apart from them playing well in the previous match which they narrowly won uh, i feel like they need to do extra they need to do extra if they are also seriously contending for top four so them meeting leads yes we have to accept leads have not have had a poor history against them but so was southampton 
until Southampton decided to rebuild themselves. So there is no condition in this planet which is always permanent. So Leeds with Marcelo Bielsa there, I know he's strategizing and he's trying to work his way out on how to overcome the embarrassment which he's always been getting from Manchester United. So the question is, will Rodrigo rise to the occasion? Will Rafinha rise to the occasion? Will Bamford rise to the occasion? Against who? Against Manchester United. So now the question is, we saw uh, Bernardo, uh, sorry, we saw uh, Rafinha? No, he James? Was the guy who scored. James? Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes scoring with an assist from Pogba. Uh, that was a motivation to them, and uh, that means that they will be coming this game all again motivated and willing to to assist and score. So be wary, Leeds. So this is a match which, from afar, I'm seeing Manchester United uh, conceding two goals and scoring two goals. So I'm seeing a draw, a 2 2 draw mm -hmm. in favor of no one. Okay, since you've said that this match, this one, I will say it for the first time. I know we are right now we are not on form, but this one is easy. United are going to win this game. Easy, you say? Yes, easy. Guys, I'll be back here. If United lose this match or draw, I'll shave my hair. So this match is going to be um, at least not below four goals for Manchester United. Four goals to one because of Maguire. When you have Maguire, okay, when they have Maguire, they have a. Uh, one uh, one goal against them. So let's see whether history will repeat itself. Yeah, four four one in favor of Manchester United. So the last match will be will be Wolves against Leicester at Molenby. Wolves against Leicester. <laughs> Leicester have been performing poorly of late. Let's agree to that. Which is how yeah. did they fare yesterday? Uh, one one. One one. They yeah, they drew one one. Uh, Leicester have been faring. They have been no. Uh, Leicester have been doing poorly. I don't know why. Uh, and yet I'm expecting. Uh, Daka to a dark and Pira as a Vizuri but yeah, by the way, yesterday he scored. He scored, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he needs to bring that form to the Premier League. We need him to start. Is Vardy back? No. Not sure. No any news about Vardy. No news about Vardy. Mm -hmm. But now they need to rise up to the occasion. Madison was good, so he needs to bring his Indian, uh Harvey Barnes. Basically the entire Leicester team needs to concentrate on coming back. So they are playing against two again, remind me. Wolves against Wolves. yeah. Wolves also they have rejuvenated themselves. They are back. They won against Tottenham by two goals to nil. To me it was a surprise, but kaboom. Yeah, last weekend. They are the ones who won against Tottenham. Oh, because with the uh, Raul Jimenez scoring. scoring. Exactly. So I never saw that coming. We all predicted Tottenham to win, but who is who is God? It happened. So Wolves very much motivated. So uh, then facing Leicester, this is a difficult game. This is a game which we are going to expect a lot of blasts in terms of runs, in terms of attacks. And uh, we know Wolves have good defenders. Uh, I don't know much. I don't know much about Leicester because they have been fumbling. Uh, Tillemans on the other side needs or need also to bring his A game. I know he scored in the previous match. The other. I think two matches ago, two games ago, but let's see how it goes. So this is a match which, if you ask me, uh, it's going to be a difficult game. So I don't know. I'm going to favor Wolves to win by two goals to one, though it's going to be tricky. So don't be surprised to even get a draw on this. Tricky. I'll tell you for free, Wolves are going to win this match. One goal to nil, because that's what they do. They frustrate you with a draw, with a 0-0, with a goalless draw for 80 minutes. And then boom. Moutinho happens like what he, uh, like how he happened uh, with Manchester United. But then Lama went to Barcelona. Same, Barcelona yeah. How did they fare yesterday? They were playing against Napoli. They were playing against Napoli. It ended in 2 2. two, two. Yeah. It was a draw. Yeah, so. another draw. So, uh, by the way, right now we are in an era where, uh, okay, Champions League and uh, Europa League, they are both interesting, of course, but this time round, uh, the Europa League would have been more interesting than the. <laughs> that the Champions League because guys Real Madrid survived, Juventus survived, and so did uh, was it us or you Chelsea? I think we finished number two. How is that surviving, my friend? Did you finish number two? Yes. Last season. This season. See, we are we are we are talking about last year. Yeah, in the in the before we qualified to the round of 16s, we were number two. No. Juventus finished number one in our pool. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And Chelsea was number. So one of them, one of them, one of them survived. Okay, 
almost every big team survived being here in the Champions League. So the Europa League would have been more interesting. But anyway, Wolves will win this match one nil. Raul Jimenez will score, and that's how it will end. I tell you guys, so thank you so much for always tuning in to the Gatekeepers TV, the number one TV channel that talks about sports in Kenya and across Africa and across the world. So if you want to get comprehensive analysis, prediction, and other interviews apart from football, the place to be is the Gatekeepers TV. So a big shout out to all those people who have given us special interviews up to now. So I think we can mention them proper. Top people who have given us interviews so far. We've managed to interview Dr. Fone. Mwalimu Wanjiko. Teacher Wanjiko. Yeah. We got Jim Watt on the platform. Jim Watt. Uh, by the way, Jim Watt is a Chelsea fan. Big up Jim Watt. Team Chelsea Kubo. fan. Huh? He's a Chelsea fan. Team Kubwa. Continue supporting Chelsea. So I think we should bring Willis Gaburu because he's a real United oh, fan. He knows he knows what it what it takes to be a Manchester United fan. So guys, wherever you are, you want to join us, call us for an interview. We will always pull up, do that, and enjoy, have fun. Here we don't call it even interviews. We just talk. We just yeah. have candid conversation. Have a nice time and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, you forgot to tell them you uh, you had a moment with Calligraph Jones at the Galactic. Oh, we are forgetting mm-hmm. we are forgetting about OG, exactly. uh, the best rapper in Africa. Calligraph Jones. But they check out for the Invincible Currency album, dropping anytime soon, probably from 27th onwards. But anytime, OG is about to drop a new band. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, we are also raising a new rapper. A young rapper by the name of Papa Chickson. Definitely. He also has a song. It's a surprise, but it's dropping soon. Soon. So where where should they subscribe? Uh, at Papa Chickson's uh, YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel. We'll mm-hmm. give you a link there. But above everything, subscribe on the Gatekeepers TV mm-hmm. channel. We will be your people anytime, any day. And and of course, road to 400 subscribers, right? We see you, we are here to give you sports, entertainment, and educate you. So it is a channel which we promote positivity. Now we are talking. So I think uh, today we spent close to half an hour, but when it's sweet, it's sweet. Huh? Mm-hmm. So until next time, guys, to make a phone